And this is called Pieces. Go with that. Okay. Somehow the words medical miracle will never quite seemed right, like puzzle pieces that fit but don't quite look like they belong together. Like there's always someone who has it worse or another baby who could have gotten the life-saving surgery I was given and I've done the math, but this isn't, this isn't a math poem. This isn't even in how many times I've beaten the odds poem. And this isn't why I wish I hadn't left the womb poem, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that as in, if there was a way humanly possible to have cocooned myself into my mother's hip bones for 17 years, I would have done it. <laughs> but they can't give you brain surgery inside of the womb, so here I am. Six months of baking, and I crawled out, but I didn't scream. I coughed, and then I gurgled a little bit. But even then, I wasn't much for being loud. My doctors all five of them, tell me I am quiet compared to their usuals. Look at my, try to get me to make eye contact, notice how my hands tremor, then they look at my file and no, notice I have social anxiety. I have a vitamin D deficiency because I never go outside. <laughs> because of like all of the scary things like shootings and getting jumped or having your groceries stolen after you just paid for them, or bicycle horns or grizzly bears because apparently they attack schools now, or having several <laughs> mental illnesses that probably should have killed you is always a mixed bag of emotions like, will six shots of espresso kill me? Or if I hit my head really hard against that wall, would it kill me? Or my personal favorite, if I, someone who has never been in any sport, joined the Olympic track team, would it kill me? <laughs> Recently, I tweeted that if I die, I want to be buried with carrots. And if anyone asked, my family and friends should just cry and shake their heads like it is too painful to talk about. But I really just feel like bugs get the crap end of the stick here. They're stuck eating corpses, and if I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna make my bug friends happy. <laughs> However, I don't wanna die. I don't think I ever really did. I think I convinced myself I wasn't worthy of a spotlight, wasn't worthy of the second kidney, wasn't worthy. I even used evidence. Like, when I told my best friend I tried to kill myself, she said if I had wanted to die, I'd use something stronger than acne pills next time. I just gotta call. Okay, sorry. We aren't friends anymore. She said I was too clingy, too emotionally dependent, too weird. I think I might be invincible or invisible. I really can't tell the difference anymore. So when my kidneys give out and you bury me, bury me with vegetables, bury me with anything but potatoes, bury me with my favorite books, put wildflowers on top of me so I can help save the bees, but don't come to visit me. I don't want you to hear the rattling of my bones still trying to be perfect. I don't want you to feel my fear of being exhumed. For someone to research my bones to discover the miracle of my marrow, I want to see the beauty of decomposition and how even the biggest of miracles don't last forever.